Evangelicals, in your sermons and in your preachings, you try to lead us to the Lord, and to your credit, you tailor your missives toward the children. For it is there you will find open minds, untainted by hate, prejudice, and malice. You regale them with biblical tales reflecting right over might, the virtue of truth and honesty, and the rewards of a moral life. All the while you are doing these admirable things, you are also very vocal in support of Trump. But beware minefields. When lecturing on morality, you might want to leave out the part about Trump having more whores than Lindsey Graham has homosexual lovers, or his conviction of being guilty of molestation of helpless women. When waxing on the values of honesty, you might want to omit tales of Trump's convictions for tax evasion and attempts to swindle our government. When instructing on civic matters, I suggest you gloss over Trump's effort to set aside the Constitution and attempts to overthrow the government of the United States. When teaching of patriotism and love of America, you might want to forget how Trump stole our most vital defense secrets and while in possession of them, his son-in-law suddenly received two billion dollars from an Arab state because, well, we don't know why, do we? And perhaps we shouldn't try to tell the kiddies Jesus sent us a repentant sinner to make America great again. Does Trump look repentant to you? Though convicted by a jury of honest Americans, he still denies his crimes. He snarls and hurls insults at our sacred institutions and vows to take revenge against his political enemies. He has called for the execution of his own military leaders, reviled almost every former aide and advisor, asked why legitimate dissidents shouldn't be shot down in the street, why immigrants and petty thieves shouldn't be murdered where they stood, and hence our current legitimately elected president should be sent to the electric chair. Is this the role model you want for your children? They aren't stupid. They hear things. They know the truth. And do you dare risk reaping what you sow?